Hey everyone, Sunbeam Spirit here. Welcome back to my channel. You may have noticed that I am outside today. We are going to be doing something really fun. I have actually been thrifting several times. I have a lot of videos that I have been meaning to upload or that I've tried and they've failed because our internet just really is not good enough. Um, so I'm hoping this video will be short enough that our internet will allow me to upload it. Back to the video. Today, I have a thrift haul for you guys. I also have another element that I'm going to include in my video, which is going to be a styling portion. Now, I've done thrift with me's and lookbooks. Well, I've done one lookbook. I have intentions for others, but I just haven't gotten around to them. But this is gonna be kind of like a thrift haul and a lookbook together, except for I'm gonna be a little more detailed about how I style the things. I'm not just gonna have the outfit and then like list with text where I got each item. I'm gonna go into detail about why I chose, you know, which items to pair with it and like what my inspiration is. We have been lucky enough to have one of those rare cold fronts here in Texas. Uh, yesterday it was pouring down rain and now today it feels amazing outside. So I do apologize for the like cloudy lighting and stuff. It's just I have not been able to try on any of my long sleeve items because it has been, you know, 80 and 90 degrees. That's what we get. So when we have a day like this, I have to take advantage of it and be outside and enjoy this cool weather. And actually look, I'm wearing a sweater. <laughs> Can't do that most of the time. Without further ado, I'm gonna get into the video. I'm going to show you the items I have first, which I do have some items that are not clothing. So I'll go through those first, um, but yeah. I am going to show you the items and then I will style the clothing items. So let's get started. But first, coffee. In my thrifted mug. Yes, this is actually gonna be my first item that I'm going to show you guys. I got this adorable little mug for $1.99. And there is coffee in it, just so you know, even though you can, yeah, there you go. I, uh, I actually spilled my coffee right where I was going to sit when I got out here. So that was fun. I had to clean that up. Woo, look at this. And you may have noticed the thing I am sitting on right here. That is actually a lawn chair. And the green thing that is draped over it is a thrifted tablecloth that I got for 99 cents. Um... I probably showed that to you guys in a thrift haul like maybe three years ago something like that i got it a long long time ago but anyway i have absolutely loved thrifting tablecloths and stuff because you can use them for so many things i thrifted a tablecloth in georgia this past summer which i will have a thrift haul from that by the way um but i thrifted a tablecloth from there and we used it i don't know if you guys follow me on instagram which is sunbeam spirit if you would like to but uh <laughs> A couple weeks ago I posted a photo shoot we did with me and my fiance and um, two of our cats, my cat Whisper and his cat Houdini, and it was just the cutest thing. It was fall themed, we had pumpkins, I had my witch hat, it was oh so, so cute. So that's on Instagram if you would like to check that out, remember Sunbeam Spirit. Anyway, let's get back into the video. Okay. After my coffee mug, I'm going to go to ah, <laughs> going to show you guys this adorable stag pillow that I have. Got this at Goodwill for whoop, 99 cents, yes. But anyway, you guys know I love deer, my favorite animal, so cute. And I actually have another little um, pillow with an animal on it, it's got like bunnies. I think I actually have two of them that are bunnies, and so I thought I would just kind of uh, eventually end up collecting all of my favorite animals, so I'll still need to get like one with a cat, one with a fox, and one with a possum, and then I'll have a nice little collection. <laughs> but yeah, super excited about this. I have a lot of deer themed things, so it's going to go with that really well. Okay, next item, and I really didn't bring a lot of my non- clothing items out here because I have several other thrift trips that I've done that 
I will include those in. <laughs> so just bear with me. It's It's been a while since I actually was able to upload anything and I really, I have been filming guys. I have, I have so many videos for y'all. Like I have three travel videos and then one of them is a very, very long Colorado travel video. And then I have probably about six or seven thrift videos that I've been working on. And it's just like, our internet is just terrible. And it's so hard for me to find a way to upload it because our internet is also limited. Like they put a data cap and I have college and I do online college. So it's really hard to find a way to upload things that are, you know, bigger files. Anyway, this belt, you cannot tell much about it from there. Okay. Here we go. Look at this beauty. Ooh, hoo, hoo. so this belt was like five dollars, which is really expensive for a Goodwill belt, and it is missing one of the little links right here, um, or it kind of came off. But anyway, uh, when I saw this belt, I just immediately thought of the Renaissance Festival. I was like, oh, I can so use that. I thought maybe I could use it, you know, as a waist belt like this. It, you know, it's rather large, but more than that, I thought, what about? using it as a sash and then uh going around like around like this yeah and then clipping uh little trinkets to it like uh when my when i wear my id at work i have a leather teapot that i clip onto my id because it's really cute and all the kids just get a kick out of it um i have a little leather deer face i have leather change purses um so you know you can clip clip things onto these little loops and I just think that would be so cute and so fun for Renfest and a really easy way to kind of jazz up your outfit. <laughs> okay, just been kind of setting that right there. Okay, and my last item that is non-clothing is this amazing little organizing shelf. Now you guys have seen several of my hauls where I come back with cute little shelves to put trinkets and knickknacks on. I was cleaning my room the other day and I did not realize how many of those little knickknack shelves I actually have. But it's all right because I have a lot of knickknacks. So <laughs> this one, I have a specific purpose in mind. Um, fun fact, if you tilt it, you can see these little divots inside, little like round divots. This is actually for um, the little ornamental eggs that people collect that are like just super detailed and gorgeous and all that stuff. I don't collect those. <laughs> I collect rocks and shells and feathers and things of that nature. <laughs> so I have um, rocks and shells from just about everywhere that we've been and then rocks and shells from places other people have been that they've gifted to me. So I thought this shelf would be so amazing for putting some of those on. I have a whole bunch of seashells and um, snail shells and stuff that I found in Oregon and California and stuff that I would love to display and I haven't found a place to display them yet. So this is going to be perfect. I'm so excited. I'm gonna hang this in the living room. It's gonna be adorable. So that is going to conclude the item portion of this video. Now we're gonna do that marvelous stack of clothes. Let me show you guys. That's where I'm <laughs> keeping my coffee on my little thrifted basket, um, but you guys I think have already seen that. So anyway, yes, I'm going to now go through this lovely pile. Okay, here we go. The first item I'm going to show you, well, I suppose maybe I should start with what I'm wearing. Uh, this is thrifted. It's a lovely little sweater. Um, it's a turtleneck, so you can actually, if you're really cold, you can just kind of pull it up like this. But for the most part, I wear it tucked down like this. And what I loved about it, beside, besides the fact that it is that really soft material, is that it has these adorable little braids on the side. Oh, how cute is that? Love it. And I actually just kind of styled this one with these cute little ruched pants we got at RenFest. Um, I'll show you guys a little bit closer in, uh, when I'm done doing this. So. So 
So for this outfit, I wanted to go for like a really casual kind of Mori. If you guys have ever seen like Mori style, I kind of wanted to go with that sort of vibe. So I paired, you know, this cute little sweater with my ruched pants from the Renaissance Festival and my very worn out combat boots that I also got from Goodwill. And of course, got my little mug, but I already drank all my coffee. <laughs> but I just thought it matched really well. And I love styling anything like this with like a little picnic basket, which you can actually put other things in here besides picnic supplies, but it's just really fun to pair with the outfit. And this looks kind of like a, maybe a casual hobbit going out for a walk kind of vibe. <laughs> going out for a picnic with the lads. <laughs> but yeah. to show you these which are not particularly exciting but oh dear lord I, when I washed them apparently there's paper in the pocket so <laughs> paper shreds for you okay anyway typically I do not like things that are denim not a big fan make my legs itch but these when I saw them I got so excited because I love, for one, I love this little V that they have right here. It's so cute. It almost has like a, almost like a Western vibe, sort of. But they're styled, they're wide leg pants. They're almost like denim gauchos, which probably sounds like a horrible combination, but really they are so cute on. It looks almost like a, um, like a dark blue skirt. Like it's adorable. And I love to tuck shirts into it. So I will style that for you guys in a little bit. I'm just gonna stash these clothes behind me. So I paired the denim wide leg pants with this really cute eyelet lavender top that I got from Kato on clearance for five bucks. Which I, I love this top. I've probably wore it, you know, six or seven times since I got it. But I really do love the color lavender. Um, I like it because it's versatile. You know, you can pair it with dark blue. You can pair it with a darker purple. Um, you can even pair it with dark brown and it looks good. And then in the spring, you can kind of jazz it up with like yellow and pink. It's just a good color that works for multiple seasons. And then for the shoes, I can get where you can see them. Are the, <laughs> you can't see this. Okay, it's these, oof, these casual, um, kind of interesting styled flats. My fiance got those for me um, several years ago for my birthday, but anyway, I love those shoes. They just go with a lot of things, but anyway, I love these type of pants because you can always, always tuck in a long sleeve top and still be warm enough, but it also creates a cute silhouette, a nice waistline, and kind of like a peasant girl vibe, especially when you add little flowers like this. <laughs> Which this is real lavender, by the way. Can't remember where I got it, but oh, it smells amazing. <laughs> Next up is actually an item I got for my mom, so you guys may not get to see it styled. I asked her if she wanted to uh, come model it for me, and she was like, I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just going to show you guys the item because it's really cute. It is this tunic with a little bit of embroidery type stuff on it, and then some more embroidery detail on the side, which is going to be perfect for fall and because it's like a cozy material. Anyway, oh, I forgot to say, I think these pants were $4, and the tunic was $3. Okay. Um, I'm not going to show you this, though, one yet. This is really cool. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you this really cute short sleeve top that I got. 
it is very simple, very dusty pink, and it has a couple of little embroidery details right here, which I am a sucker for embroidery, especially for the fall. There's just something so, oh, I don't know, comforting about it. It's beautiful, it's detailed, but at the same time, it's simple. So cute. And that was, I believe, three dollars. A lot of these prices are just going to be guesstimations because it has been a minute. Okay. Ooh. Yes. These these are beautiful. Ooh. Okay. It is very rare that I find uh, any pants that are like a faux suede material that fit me nicely. But these guys, <laughs> these are something else. So these were actually, price is still on there. Okay, so these were a little more expensive. These were $8, but look at them. I ended up putting like two items back during this trip because I was like, <laughs> I can get these two items or I can get these pants. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get the pants. So look at that. They've got the bell bottoms. Oh, gorgeous. Cannot wait to style these. Here are the faux suede bell bottom pants. Uh, I thought they were going to fit perfectly because they looked like they were going to fit perfectly, but uh, it was a bit of a struggle to get them on. They didn't stretch as much as I thought they were going to, but no matter, I have paired them with this little crop top that I got from Earthbound. It is probably one of my favorite things I've ever gotten from Earthbound. They have another one in a different color that I'm probably going to get at some point. But anyway, I really do like how these bell bottoms fit. Can't really tell too much. Um, but they're really cute. And they feel a little bit better now that I've had them on for a few minutes. But yeah, <laughs> it was a bit of a struggle. But I like how they look. They're very 70s, very retro. And they have very good, like, casual, like, just going to the mall kind of fall outfits. Um, going to the flea market or whatever, <laughs> you know, very chill, very 70s, boho. But yeah, I just kind of kept it casual with this one. Now this particular thrift trip, when I got this dress, I only got two items, which were both dresses. <laughs> it was because my fiance took me to a Goodwill and we had um, some food we were about to pick up, but we were supposed to get there at a certain time. We had a little tiny bit of time to kill, so we stopped by a Goodwill and I found this dress, which I thought was so nice. Granted, I would love it more if like the gray color was like yellow. Oh, could you imagine? Would love it but anyway i do love it the way it is i just think it would be awesome as yellow uh but anyway look how cute the details are on this i love the contrast of the horizontal and the vertical stripes and this is all also like embroidery kind of detail so you know me <laughs> but anyway it's actually really cute on and i've worked to work several times <laughs> So for this dress, I had kind of like a spectral, like Tim Burton kind of vibe in mind with the stripes and everything. Um, so I kind of went a little ghostly with my color scheme. Uh, obviously, you know, it's got the gray and white, so I paired it with white everything and this silver uh, torque necklace that I got at Earthbound, by the way. And allow me to show you my shoes, which are from Shein. They are <laughs> these lace-up mesh white boots. And the second I saw them, I knew I had to have them. <laughs> Unfortunately, they do not stretch and my calves are a bit meatier than I 
um, anticipated and so the boots are a little bit small in my calves so a little uncomfortable but still really really cute and one thing that I really love for fall is like layering different textures on each other so I have this um, ribbed white top underneath from Rue 21 and it actually has like lace-up details so I thought since this has a big cutout why not put a cool detail right here you know reveal a little extra for the outfit and typically I would probably wear maybe like a little belt with this but I could not find my white belt before I filmed this so but yeah this is my very spectral fall look <laughs> I might as well show you the other dress I got on that trip as well. It is, uh, when I saw the pattern, I was like, I don't even care what size it is, I'm getting that dress. Well, let me show you. <laughs> so it is like an extra large, but when you see the pattern, you will understand why I had to have it. Look how absolutely stunning that pattern is. And it's got buttons. And you can also tie it in the back so you can adjust it. I just thought that was such a gorgeous pattern and I couldn't pass it up. Both of the dresses were four dollars. Oh no wait actually this one was on sale for three. <laughs> so a total of only seven dollars was spent that day. For this dress I immediately <laughs> knew what I wanted to pair it with when I saw it in the thrift store. <laughs> I actually thrifted this vest right here from uh, our local Goodwill a long time ago and it is like my favorite vest I've ever thrifted because it is gold. It just goes with so much of my stuff. But when I saw this dress, I knew with the colors it would be perfect to pair with this vest. <laughs> and I'm so excited about how it looks together. It is definitely cottagecore hobbit life kind of dress like this is like the perfect cottage core dress and it is so light and airy in truth it is actually see-through um so i will have to wear like another skirt underneath but that's fine i'm okay with that but yes i just love the floral details and the buttons and oh so i also paired it with this little rosette headband I got from Shein. It is gold, so it matches. And then I have paired it, oh, you can't see that at all. I have paired it with these rope sandals that I thrifted. <laughs> so all in all, it makes for a very cottagecore kind of look, which I love layering vests over dresses. If you have a solid color dress or, um, a dress with one of the colors in it that matches your vest, you know, go for it. I think adding a vest to your outfit can be really fun. Not to mention, um, you can also add brooches and stuff. I should have added a brooch with this one, but I didn't think about it until just now. But, but yeah, it would look very cute with like a little leaf brooch up here, like a little sun brooch or something. But yeah, I just wanted to go with, um, if you guys have seen Lord of the Rings, you know, Rosie. Um, who Sam has a huge crush on and ends up marrying. Uh, it's kind of reminded me of like one of her little outfits that she would wear. Okay. This one is actually not from a Goodwill at all. This, which I'm including it in the thrift haul because it was secondhand. This um, I bought from my friend Paisley. She was having a closet clean out and as soon as I saw the color, I was like, oh yes, I must have that. <laughs> it is this very dark mustard, like linen material shirt. And the sleeves have the cutest little eyelet detail. I am obsessed. I love this shirt. It literally just goes with everything. 
My favorite thing to pair it with is like white overalls though. Oh my gosh, such a good combo. And so that was, <laughs> I bought that from her for only $3. So I paired the shirt with these white, um, it's like a white overall jumpsuit that I got from a store near me that shut down recently. It was on sale for six bucks, so <laughs> scooped it right up. So I thought sort of a casual look, I mean, you can't go wrong with the uh, cute little puff sleeve and some overalls, and I'm so sorry about the camera, it keeps sliding. <laughs> but anyway, for the shoes, I just paired it with these really cute, uh, almost kind of like gladiator sandals that I <laughs> thrifted uh, from our local Goodwill. For this look, I kind of wanted it to have a hobbit vibe. Like a very casual hobbit, like I'm going out to the market and I'm just going to go pick up some stuff for second breakfast and all of those good meals. <laughs> okay, ah, here we go. This was on a more recent thrift trip. I saw this skirt and I could not get over the colors. I just thought that was so gorgeous. Ooh, that wind is blowing. Ah, it feels amazing out here. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm trying to show you. Okay, so I was, I fell in love with the colors when I first saw it. And then, better than that, it's got pockets. So cute. So I, I just love this skirt. And they had several other skirts and I'm kind of like, punching myself for not getting those two because they were similar. Um, there, was, oh, there was one that was patchwork. Like, why didn't I get that? I'm so mad at myself. Oh. Anyway, not happy, but either way, I'm going to show you how I style this. And you know, I might actually go with the sweater. I'm not sure. <laughs> I have, I've had a hard time matching things with the skirt, so we'll see. And I believe that was $3. I don't know what made me uh, get so extra with this outfit. Um, this is the skirt with the stripes and the pockets. But something just screamed like traveling merchant or like adventurer who can't be bothered to, you know, leave all of her things somewhere. She's gonna take all of it with her. Like her trusty leather journal from Poetic Earth or her pan flute or her feathers she's collected <laughs> or her Vietnamese rice picking basket that she got at the flea market <laughs> or this wondrous hat that was gifted to me by my mother <laughs> I don't know sometimes you just start layering and you get an idea in your head and you can't stop so <laughs> that is what I did here I paired this skirt with this plain white top that I got from Shein and I also added my long corduroy vest that I thrifted with large pockets perfect for storing your journal oh you can't see that <laughs> there we go so yeah I really like for my outfits to tell a story and I think when you layer them each layer adds kind of a different element to the story that you're telling with your look and accessories are a really good way to add to your story as well. <laughs> but yeah, I suppose that's just the writer in me. I do like to like to tell stories. And I paired it. Oh, you can't see that. My shoes are again just my very worn out. Oh, hopefully you can't see anything on it. My very worn out Steve Madden boots that I thrifted from Goodwill. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, my there's such a bad glare. But I I have the hardest time when I take off my glasses. It's so hard to see. But, anyway, yeah, you can put flowers and uh, all the kind of things you gather in this and uh, got plenty of 
pocket space. You can write about your adventures in your journal. <laughs> but yeah, one of the fun things about um, layering your outfit is like the more layers you add, the less it has to match, if that makes sense. Like, say you've got um, like a green dress if you want to add a brown vest and like a yellow scarf you can just keep adding different colors and it doesn't even it doesn't even matter because they're layered and it's sort of a new fresh element each time you add another layer i know that sounds crazy but i do it all the time i promise it ends up looking super fun <laughs> done you guys with me showing you the items and then I will style them and this video is going to be longer than I thought so sorry about that okay here we go this is one of my favorite who one of my favorite things I've thrifted this I've been wanting like a fair isle style um, sweater you know with all the cute colors and patterns and everything but I don't want one that's like really bright and crazy colors but when I saw this one whoo, 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 show you the details look how cute this is oh my goodness these colors are perfect and I am so stinking excited about this you should have seen my cart that day it was so pleasing to look at because all the colors it was like I had this and that and these you know faux suede pants and the skirt and then this little top and it just everything looked so pretty together I was just like oh Here is the sweater. I have just left my dark mustard shirt on underneath it. Um, but this sweater is actually a zip up sweater, so that's kind of interesting. You could always play with adding like another cool texture or color underneath there. Um, for the sake of convenience, I just left my mustard shirt though. Anyway, this is what I have paired it with. It is this maxi skirt with a paper bag waist from Shein. I've just tucked it in. I think this kind of sweater would look really cute tucked into um, like some wide leg pants as well. Personally, I just find skirts to be more comfortable, so that's why I made this choice. And of course, I have paired it with my favorite hat, <laughs> which has my little thrifted mushroom pin on there. Um, well, that I got from secondhand at RenFest, but anyway, uh, yes, any excuse to wear my favorite hat <laughs> and of course it's October um, perfect time to wear it you know no one's gonna well <laughs> I say no one's gonna look at you funny people will still look at you funny but who cares you know if people aren't looking at you funny are you really living your life I mean you know anyway <laughs> and I have also paired it with this bag which I don't know if you guys remember I thrifted a really long time ago I think it may have been like my second or third thrift haul that I uploaded maybe even my first I don't know but it's just this um, little leather bag with like some Egyptian type print on it yeah it's got these really cute, like cool hieroglyphics I, I assume hieroglyphics kind of yeah <laughs> But yeah, I love, 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 love this sweater. I think it is so fun and it is perfect for the fall. For the shoes, I have chosen combat boots, but these are my maroon combat boots. See, I've taken the, the maroon pinkish color right there and used it for my shoe color. Uh, the maroon boots that my mom gave me a couple years ago for Christmas. <laughs> but yeah, this is a super comfy outfit and anytime you want to layer like a sweater, you can always do like a maxi or midi skirt with it. And I think it looks so cute and so cozy. Sorry, I promise I am... Uh, When I lean back and forth, that's just the chair. I promise. I have a lawn chair underneath here, so remember, squeaky lawn chair. Okay, and my last item, oh, I got this the same time I got the sweaters. Oh, 
Can you guys guess what this is? It is a beautiful, gorgeous, stunning wool coat. And it is the prettiest light brown. Oh my goodness. And it's double breasted. And look at these buttons. Everything about this coat is gorgeous. I was so lucky <laughs> like when I found it. I was like, how on earth has like no one seen this yet? I, I was like, they must have just put it out because like, how could you not like jump on this? So the coat itself was, let's see. I don't think it's too bad. Yeah, $7.99, so not, not bad considering it was probably originally like 60 bucks. But, oh, not get over it. Oh, it's so cute. You can be like very cottage core or very professional depending on how you style it. Like there's so many different things you can do with a coat like this. And it is thick, thick. Like this is going to be so warm. I cannot wait to wear it. Color schemes go. I really love neutrals for fall. Don't get me wrong, I love like mustard yellow obviously and orange for fall especially, but I'm a big fan of neutrals too. So like, I think this outfit would actually be perfect to pair with that nice wool coat. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we're a hobbit. <laughs> now we're ready to go on an adventure. my nice wool coat and obviously it buttons up but I'm not going to do that right now so yeah now we're ready to go save middle earth again <laughs> I don't believe I almost forgot this one. This is this is my favorite thing I got out of the entire thrift haul. And oh my gosh, when you see it, this is like probably one of my top 10 favorite things I've ever thrifted. Okay. This item is one of my top 10 favorite things I have ever thrifted. Oh, I'm so excited. It is this gorgeous like cardigan. It's like a knit cardigan. It's got the cute little fringe on it. It is so cute and so cozy. And what's cool about it is it also has like autumn color block kind of going on. There's buttons and there's cute little swirl patterns. Can you see those? Yeah. Look how precious. Oh, so, so cute. And like all I can think of is like, it's perfect for like an autumn forest witch kind of vibes like oh so cute yeah and these swirls are on the back too like they have swirls right there and right here just oh cannot get over it ah. i'm not gonna lie here this one turned out way more wintry than fall really um i layered it over this fun velvet leaf top I got from the Texas Renaissance Festival. I was going for like a warm fall witch vibe and uh, I think I got the witch vibe down and I also got the warm down but uh, I think this is definitely more of a winter outfit <laughs> especially down here in Texas but my leaf top has a little hood on it. I don't know if you can see and it's like a continuation of the leaf pattern. So I really do love to wear it in the fall and winter. Because it's velvet, it is very, very cozy. And so this cardigan, oh my gosh, looks great with um, with the leaf top. I think it'll look great with anything orange or green or brown probably. I also paired it with this little belt um, just to kind of cinch it in and give me a little bit of a shape. Um, I thrifted this belt from Goodwill for like 99 cents. And then for the pants, I have paired it with um, these actually very wide leg pants. Usually they flare out super far, but um, you know, <laughs> I wanted to show off the moccasins as well, so I have tucked them into my Minnetonka moccasins for a very, sorry there's some people in a golf cart going down the road. Um, anyway, for a very 
very um, I'm going out on an adventure kind of look. But I also believe that my witch hat would look wonderful with this because it is orange. But since I've already featured it in one of the other looks, I thought I would just leave it off for this one. But yeah, this is the back. I also think that this look could probably be a really good Renfest look if it's chilly. Um, most of the time when we go to Renfest, it's not chilly. But if it did happen to be chilly, which it, does, it has happened before, um, usually on that very last weekend, like Celtic Christmas. So this could be an option for Celtic Christmas. Come to think of it, this cardigan looks an awful lot like um, one that some of the shops out there sell. So I wonder if that's where it's from. I don't know. But anyway, I feel like there's a lot of cute hats that could go with this. Probably like a dark orange wool beret or something. Um, again, right along here you could add pins and stuff, brooches, you know, things to jazz it up. I really didn't do a whole lot of jewelry with my looks, um, just because I am a bit short on time, so I was trying my best to be efficient. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so this is probably my favorite look so far. I love layering and especially when you have an outer layer that has multiple colors like this you know you can really kind of play with um the things you layer underneath it like for instance my pants they have orange red brown and green and so then i was able to do brown shoes and a brown belt <laughs> my favorite item. <laughs> well guys, uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope it has given you some inspiration to maybe get up and go thrifting. Of course, if you don't feel comfortable going thrifting with all of the um, coronavirus situation going on in your state, uh, I know some states are worse than others, um, please don't go out if you don't feel comfortable. That's that is totally up to you. Um, I just, I go out because thrifting brings me comfort, so <laughs> I truly enjoy it. And I hope you guys can enjoy thrifting too. There's always online thrifting if you wanna do that. Um, but yeah, anyway, I hope you guys get inspired by this uh, outfit video. Maybe try some of your own looks, a little layering, you know, a little, little orange, a little green. <laughs> But anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. If you like my stuff, please like and subscribe, leave a comment, give me a little inspo for maybe my next video. You guys can also follow me on Instagram at Sunbeam Spirit. Why did I do that? Anyway, I, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and go outside some fresh air, have a little hot cocoa. Anyway, have a great day you guys and be safe. Bye!